Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Juice Baseball 44 coming at you guys with the What's in My Baseball Bag video. I've been getting a lot of comments on YouTube and messages on YouTube, as well as comments and DMs on uh, on Instagram uh, to do What's in My Bag. So I finally have some time, and I'm gonna do it real quick. Uh, something I left out by accident. Um, I have a Mako for college ball. Uh, still being broken in. Only hit a few times with it. Uh, right now, it's not going to be used, and it wasn't being used when I was playing Sunday League with friends. Um, I'm still playing because college ball hasn't started. Uh, conditioning, I think, starts in about a week or two. Cause, uh, school starts in a week. But it's uh, the Mako, and right now, even for everything, anything other than baseball, like the legit baseball league, I use wood. So right now, I'm using my max bat. Uh, <sighs> Sorry guys, professional grade A, uh, bat wax, and I tried uh, something that I used to do when I was a kid, the little ridges for the grooves in the hands, which is not bad, I kind of like it, but I'm too lazy to take it off, because I usually don't use tape. Um, story about these three, um, they all be, sorry, they're all being used, uh, this one hasn't been used for a while lately, but usually I take one, if I don't take one, I take two. And it'll either be the DW5 in the Pro Shop, or the DW5 in the Zimmerman, or the Zimmerman in the Pro Shop. So, um, usually I take one or the other. But they all get some use. They're all my gamers. None of them are for sale, so don't ask. It's a 12-inch DW5, all black, and 2K. <coughs> I have a Ryan Zimmerman model, um, for preferred. Amazing gloves, both of them. All three of them, actually. Uh, pro Shop, Heart of the Hide, uh, Petards, Lining, and All Mesh Back, uh, Eye Web. I think it's an MP5 that plays 12 inches, 11 and 3 quarters. Um, I unzipped everything just to make the video a little quicker and easier, but to get started on the right side, it, I have a, a hex pad, um, knee pads, and a deodorant. Um, if you guys have seen my previous videos and know I'm a catcher and you guys may be wondering why I don't have anything, um, my right knee got injured and uh, I can't play catcher, which sucks because now my never missy has no use. So I bought her, I started breaking her in and I can't even use it anymore. So right now I'm playing third and uh, just straight infield, short, second, all that. Um, I don't mind playing outfield, but I don't really got an outfield mitt, so uh, I don't know what the coach is going to do, but um, other than that, right now I'm just a fielder, I'm not a catcher, I can't catch at all. Um, I don't use my shoulder pad on my shoulder strap, never have, but uh, this is a new bag by the way, my team colors are uh, navy blue and gold, and uh, I don't know, I've never really used any strap before. So I have a little pocket just in case. I um, have an Evil Shield wrist guard, black. Uh, Pelican Bat Wax Clubhouse Kit with the Bat Wax stick and the rosin bag. Uh, pre wrap that I've actually never used. I only got it green because my girlfriend picked it out. I told her to get one. She got green because it's her favorite color. Uh, pro hitter that I kind of stopped using actually. Um, I have a Nike uh, Pro Combat sleeve, all black. Um, same one but in blue. Don't know why I got the blue. Um, I have a backup Evil Shield Batting Gloves. All black. Um, an Evil Shield sleeve. A whole lot of tape. Gray, navy, blue, pink. And black. Uh, scotch tape, which I usually carry red, black, and white. Um, you guys are wondering why, I'll show you guys why later, um, at, like towards the end of the video. Uh, belt, because I never bought a baseball belt. You can get this belt like at Tilly's or whatever. I have a tiger stick that I haven't used for about a year and a half. <laughs> uh, pitcher's bomb, which works. Um, I don't pitch anymore, or I haven't pitched in high, since high school, but um, here's what it looks like if you guys are wondering. But um, I still use it. I used to use it when I catch, and now I use it in the infield. Just a little tack on the fingers. In the main compartment, it's uh, kind of like spare batting gloves. 
They're my cousins that I bought from him and he never used them. Um, they are not bad actually. If you're thinking about just using straight pine tar, you don't need um, expensive batting gloves if you're going to use pine tar on a bat. Um, trust me, learn from ex or, um, learned from experience. Um, pine tar works great with these. They're soft leather. It's not the softest leather like the uh, Nike MVP. And... Uh, but they're nice. If you're gonna use pine tar, I suggest these. They're like 15 bucks. It's worth that. Cheap too. Um, a Rawlings arm band because I lost my J bands a while back. Uh, my cleats. I don't really want to open the bag, but they are uh, Under Armour Spine. I think Bryce Harper kinds. Um, my cups in here. And I think the last thing in here is a helmet. Easton Natural. I have a pink strip right there to remind me of my Nina. Um, uh, pink tape in the shape of a cross with uh, breast cancer awareness. And then three stripes that I always do for I don't know what reason. The only one I didn't do it with was for my high school helmet. Um, two thin ones and a thick one. I think the reason it started when I was a kid is this cushion started coming off. Actually, this one coming off too. The cushion started coming off, so I think that's how I got into it. And then I got out of it for like a year and then I got back into it. Um, this is a under glove, batting glove. In case I ever want to throw a glove on before I throw those on. Um, should have been a few baseballs in here. I don't think I put them in here afterwards. After I cleaned it out. But uh, I have a Rawlings Workhorse 90, 950 or 950 Workhorse. For those of you, and this is going to be a really good... Um, I don't even know how to say it, but this is going to be a bomb ass review for you guys. This leather feels identical to the Nike MVPs. If you guys don't have money and your parents don't have money and you can't waste the money for expensive $60 batting gloves that don't make you any better of a player than you already are, which only practice does that and skill and just working on everything on mechanics. These batting gloves are badass. The only thing that bothers me is this cushion, but you end up getting used to it. Rollins, 950 workhorse, trust me, and they're only like 30 bucks. And then my uh, my Evil Shield in white. Um, I got used to these, so I use these for the metal, and I use these for the wood. The other ones don't fit me, which is why they're just backups for other people, other teammates. Helmet. Easton Natural that I got for like less than 20 bucks and then the new Oaks that are radars, normal radars, uh, fire iridium lenses, jet black, um, yeah I got Christmas lights, um, fire iridium just because I wanted to try them out, I'm going to try out a positive red too and the normal gray that I normally use for baseball but I I got turned on to the fire iridium, so I'm trying those out. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Just gloves, batting gloves, bats, oaks, and then a few accessories with a whole lot of tape that I never really use. Um, so yeah, that's about it. Um, oh, wow. I'm sorry. This one fell. White hockey tape. It's cheaper than normal athletic tape and it works just as well and uh, let me see if I can show you guys uh, the pockets of the gloves uh, there's a DW5 we got the Zimmerman getting amazingly deep and the Pro Shop MP5. This is an amazing glove. I almost don't want to use it. It's so precious. Um, other than that, oh, that's right, the Scotch tape. Okay, so for those of you who do use tape on your wood bats, this is what I do, and it works wonders. Throw on whether it's the metal bats, the aluminum composite wood, whatever. Get some scotch tape, whether it's whatever color you want. Put one strap or one 
one tape job, I guess, around the back, the handle of where you want it. And then you put out whatever you want, whether it's, uh, like, let's say you want to use tape. Uh, you want to use pine tar, then tape or whatever. And you just don't want to have the residue, you can use this. Throw on pine tar on top, which the other way could be the use athletic tape. But what I do is I use this. In case you ever use like lizard skin grip, something like that, and you don't want to get the sticky uh, adhesive residue, you put one strip of uh, um, electrical tape, then you put on your lizard skin, sticks just the same, works just the same, except when it gets nasty, you just want to take it off and you take it all off. Some of the adhesive stays on the lizard skin rather than sticking to the wood. And... Uh, what was the other thing? Oh, and then when you take this scotch tape off, let me see if I can show you guys real quick. Put the camera down. When you guys take the scotch tape off, um, it leaves no adhesive residue. Um, you can, I think you can use any kind of electrical tape. I just use scotch because um, I live a few blocks from a Home Depot and that's what they got. So, um, yeah, you can. I use scotch. So it'll look like that. No matter how long it's been on here because I've done it. It'll come off like so, and it'll feel exactly the same. No residue, no anything. So if you guys are ever gonna do that, I suggest you try it. Uh, it's badass. And if you just want to finish it off, you can finish it off with electrical tape too. So uh, yeah, that's what I use the electrical tape for. Usually I carry three. I think it's black, red, and white. But right now I couldn't find the other two. Actually, I haven't been able to find the other two. But uh, yeah, that's my what's in my baseball bag video. Thanks a lot, guys.